The next question is, what can I do with Java? So yeah, what you can do with Java, um, that's a good question. From a technical sense, um, you can do pretty much anything with it. So it's almost like if you'd ask somebody, if I have a blank sheet of paper, what type of drawings could I do? What, you know, what, what things could I draw? And you could say, well, pretty much you can draw anything as long as you've got a blank sheet of paper. Java pretty much is that blank sheet of paper. It sounds a little cliche, but that's literally what it is. Um, so yeah, as long as your mind can conceptualize the kind of program you'd want to write or what you want it to do, then you can easily take that kind of design which is in your head and break it down into from first principles into the different software components that you need to build and, and build that up. Um, you can build everything from, uh, as I said before, from the uh, mobile applications, so Android applications which are in your pocket, through to desktop applications um, using um, some of the uh, user interface libraries that we have in Java, like Swing and Java FX. Um, right through to being able to write cloud-based applications. So these are applications which um, will run in the cloud on um, a set of different computers. So maybe like, you know, anything from like four to a couple of hundred computers, servers they're called, um, in a so-called cluster, um, all running effectively the same program at the same time. Um, the reason they do that, by the way, is because they have to have massive computing power to be able to um, service all of the different requests that come in from the web. Um, at the same time. So for example, if you look at a website like Amazon um, or Google or Netflix or, or wherever, then you know, you're not just going to have like two or three people um, placing orders you know, every second. You're going to have you know, a few thousand, several thousand, several hundred thousand people placing orders every second. And that power, um, uh, the, 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 how you actually get that power in Java is by um, arranging um, all these different servers into a so-called into the so-called cloud and um, to be able to do um, all of that processing together so you can really design any application um, from something in your phone on your phone rather in your pocket right through to a huge cloud-based e-commerce website everything's possible with java that's in the technical sense um in the business sense or the professional development sense what can you do with java you could for example get a job in a bank um, which would be very good to do um, their pay is very good. Um, just work your way up the, the ladder there. You could um, make your own startup. So you could, you know, create your own software company. Maybe you've got a software as a service which you offer, like where somebody pays, for example, a monthly subscription to be able to access your service. Um, so yeah, think about services like Netflix, for example, or Trello or um, Dropbox, other things like that. You can create something like that. You could decide to join a startup. If you join a startup, work very hard, normally you get shares and then you can get a big payout down the line. That can be useful as well. Um, or otherwise you can just decide to become an indie app developer. So an independent application developer designing apps for Android, for example. Um, and all of those, you know, all shades in between, if you like, all of those are possible with a good knowledge of Java. So it's definitely a really valuable skill to learn in the marketplace, yeah.